The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. It is easier to build strong children. What's it? Hey, a message. Who better me? Strong, godly children. I think I'm afraid all your thing. Oh, this one. Abba. Than to repair broken men. Hey, a message. As in, sir, and for that, why are so glad here? No, what's your channel? So, but to me, as I don't want a big one, not so I'm already the edge. It is easier to build godly children. A mercy, who bet me to my old crystal moon, I'm over any other year, Christopher, than to repair broken men. A mercy, as in, sir, one of what's your channel, who bet me at the one, I'm over here, and the other. Now, in Genesis chapter 18. Most of my decay did not watch it. Read eighteen and nineteen. The guy do not change it, don't chrono. Genesis eighteen, eighteen. Most of a woman decay did not change, and you wouldn't watch it, and it don't chrono. Abraham will surely become a great and powerful nation. Abraham may or my or Kuni and it to me, my and all nations on earth will be blessed through him. For I have chosen him so that he would direct his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just. Now, the next line says, So that the Lord will bring about for Abraham what he has promised him. Training of his children will allow God to bring to pass what his intention for Abraham. See, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, when you read from verse 1, God says that these are the commands, decrees, and laws the Lord your God directed me to teach you to observe in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. Now, when you jump to verse 4, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Now, see, Israel, Verses say that these commands that I give you today are to be on your heart. Impress them on, on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road. When you lie down and when you get up, Proverbs say that train up a child the way he should go. For when he is grown, he will never depart from us. Our union is not just for our benefit. God expects godly children. But I'm not in any way suggesting that marriage is children. And you know, I want to please encourage you. If you have not been praying together, you are not bringing God into the marriage. You have to raise the family altar again. I was now, John and Charles Wesley had a, a very godly mother. This woman, Susanna, had 11 children. 
But the woman prayed one hour every day. Mami no. Then when she's praying, all the children will sit quietly and they will not allow anyone to go and disturb the mother. When you get there at the time the mother is praying, it's a no-go area, they will not disturb. And out of a prayer, we had John West, we had Charles West, we had great people came out of her lungs. After 150 years after the death of Jonathan Edwards, this godly man, Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards. Someone decided to trace his ancestry and look at how God has dealt with. No, people say, "Only when I see for me, see the unyango pone, I see for Adi Adi Abidro." And this was the legacy that he saw. Now we need a tumwa wo umfi sa wo perima yasi. Out of him, there is there has come out one U.S. vice president. Nasi, ena. Three senators. Three governors. governors. Three mayors. Thirteen or thirteen college presidents. Ghana, we say the vice chancellor. Thirty judges. Sixty-five professors. Eighty public officers. Hundred lawyers. And a lawyer for a fear as a buyer, hundred missionaries. And I was all them a boss and part of the world. My interest is not in the social ladder they, they climb. And you know, baby, I made too much, my yeah, 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 and yes, sir. Oh, money more, boy, we are saying who never wants a member came. But the godly foundation they stand on. Name, mum, yam, sum, yam, sum for Pimua, won't end a no at all. Now the Christian tradition he belonged to. They saw marriage and family life as a calling. It's a call to marriage. So when you decide to marry, they believe that you are called to marry. So you are called just as I've been called to be a minister, called to marry. And when you are called the children are called to respect their parents and to obey God. And my friends, you know, what one by your men must say, Oh, my son, you know, no, my son, you know, no, you see, you know, so if I go into marriage to go and support my wife's salvation. Then I will not dwell on her weakness. And she said, Me I will not throw her away that I'll divorce. And I have a mental I want you to have this mentality. I was speaking like this somewhere many years ago. And there was this member Dickness who started serving, and later on she started crying and wailing in the church, and they had to risk her out. Now, after church, I went to her. And she said, uh, Mama, What's the problem? Mama Edia said. And she said, if I had these things earlier, I would have divorced my husband. 
If I heard these things early, I'm sure you're also saying that my children will not have been wayward. I want to encourage you so I thought that if she's regretted then I can help her uh, connect to the man again and then when I said so where is the husband then she said how are you how are you and I'm even saying that who could know what he now somebody said oh so I'm ready here we'll be a fucker now it was Jonathan it was Christian tradition, they also believe that marriage and family life is a small church. Jonathan, if you are can who say we know, Omo Amamre, Omo the S C one say, what did he say? Our real so a a sorry where the husband is the pastor. Yeah, a kunono ene oye osofuwa sorry no so. And the wife is the. Assistant pastor. So who are the members? They, they, they wouldn't even say the children, they say the household. Many great preachers, many great people. These are the people who left England and then they came to settle in New England. You see all the big, big universities. It is it is because of these people who came to settle the Boston area. All the universities they entered into the parliament and then they changed the laws because they never separated their Christianity from their public life. It is a New England there. School I can see I can see I can see I walk or no. And if I want more, I do our area now. I want more. I bravo every our area or no. One now. Oh yes, I did in a. They also believe that marriage and family life is a seminary where the Bible is taught. Now, I want to end. What will happen if we take marriage and family life seriously? Wouldn't we have spared the world of all... The challenges that it is. Senka ye fa our rear any ebushia semi ye pa and ka any ma is see ya ye mu ye no and kasani manin yana emma. What will happen if you had brought Jesus into your marriage? Then by this time your marriage is better than what you have now. Senka wa my yes Christ to Abba Wawari no more and Kasabri Wawari no a two mia a chance any at ye. But it is not late. Now so NK you can build a good one out of the existing one. You can start breaking your children and bringing them to the family altar again. Start making your home a small church. Let that place be a seminar. Go into marriage, go into family life as a calling. And desire and start to support your, your spouse's salvation. To possess the nations, we should be able to start possessing our family. Because it is the base of the society. Without marriage, there will be no family. Without family, there will be no society. Without that, there could be no nation. Maybe you are a young person here, you also have this kind of idea about marriage. Don't fight against what God has instituted. You can't be wiser than the mighty one. Change your mind. Let us all come and honor marriage. And every good thing that was at the back of his mind when he instituted marriage will be yours.